Today I'm going to show you how to craft better prompts with Midjourney. It's actually super easy. Also, I'm going to show you two tools that help you craft prompts. Also, don't forget to join my live stream on Sunday where I will review your Midjourney works and give you some more advice on your prompts. The best way to understand prompts better is to go to midjourney.com slash app and then click on the community feed. You can click on any picture and it will show you the prompt below. We are going to talk about the anatomy of that prompt so you understand why it is written in a certain way. Before I do that, I want to suggest open up a Google Doc and you copy these images over, make notes on specific words that are used in here so you build up a library and with that you can deepen your prompt crafting. So how are these prompts built? For example, this one here, you start out with the main subject. In this case, we have Alloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. That's a video game. Then it describes the style of that character. There's a lot of description here as a mighty Viking, red hair, freckles, fierce facial expression, wet hair, traditional Viking armor. All of that is still about the main character. So that means in the beginning of the prompt, we have what do you want the AI to show? And then what are the attributes of that subject you want to show? Next, we come to the surrounding of the subject. In this case, we only have rainy sunset. Afterwards, you have the overall style in which you want to have this artwork rendered. Cinematic, epic scene, photography, cinematic lighting, volumetric light, ethereal light, intricate details, extremely detailed. So there's a lot of different words in there to give the AI descriptions of how it should be rendered because it could be in all kinds of way. It could be like an anime, like 2D art, like 3D art. Let's go to the next example. Again, we have a portrait at the start. It says a stunning woman, but this time it says with candy skull paint. So there is a combination where the woman and the paint has been brought together because sometimes the AI doesn't understand exactly what you know or it overlooks certain terms. So you might want to move them further to the start or bring them in combination closer to what it should be applied to. Now, what you shouldn't do is to write on the day of the death with flowers, having dark, rich blue eyes, wearing tools, all these kind of in between words for the AI, they can be rather confusing. After we have described the character and what the character is wearing, we are again describing the scene. So this is a full head portrait. It has intricate details, inner light, inner energy. Then we come to the render styles, ultra realistic, cinematic lighting, very realistic photograph, 50 millimeter lens. This is also something that's important to understand. Mid journey understands different kinds of cameras, different kinds of lenses, even different kinds of F stops. For example, when you write ultra wide angle, of course, you're getting a different result than when you write 50 millimeter lens. So you can see many of the top results on mid journey have the same anatomy for their prompts. So let's go over this again. The prompt should start with the subject, then the attributes of the subject, like the hair, the clothing, the jewelry, the face expression. Afterwards, we have some artistic attributes. What kind of style is it? What kind of age is it? What kind of colors do we want to use? After that, it is followed by render attributes. For example, Octane Render, DSLR, 8K, intricate detail, and then at the very end of the prompt, of course, you follow up with all of the specific mid journey prompts like minus minus test, minus minus creative, minus minus AR 16 by nine, all these kind of things. As promised at the end of the video, here are two tools that can help you create these prompts. But I would rather suggest you learn on your own to get better prompts. So here you would write the subject you want to have. You can give this a weight with the slider here. 
And then afterwards, you have a lot of different attributes that you can use. So you can click on the styles here and you can look through them and there's a lot of suggestions. You also see an example here on how that looks. You can click on that and again with the slider give a weight on how important that should be. You can also choose multiple of these styles and give them different weights. Now you can go through all of these attributes here like lighting, camera, artist, colors. After you're finished, simply go down here to copy prompt, click on that, go over to your mid journey bot and simply copy this in. You don't have to write image because that's already part of the copy prompt and you hit enter and enter again and it's already starting. An important thing to know about this tool is it uses weights, which means it cannot use with the minus minus test or minus minus test P prompt right now. The next tool is Fraser. I feel like it's more limited, but at the same time it has some advantages. You need to register with them, but as far as I can see, this is for free. You have different styles here. Let's click here on 3D render. Then again, you can enter your prompt. The good thing here is it will show you examples of already finished rendered on the right side and you can even click on them to see the full prompt and click on them to see more similar images. When you're happy with your description, click on next and this will ask you for the style you want to create this in, let's say here Beeble Crap. Then you can choose the color you want, let's say multicolor. You can have the detail 4K ultra high. Here you have an emotion, you can choose one of them or put something in here that you like, heroic. Then you can choose the age here. Let's go with futuristic. And here you have your prompt. So select the prompt, simply copy it over to your bot, then slash image, put this in here and let this render. And in this case, the word crap is banned. Hey ho, free world. Since I didn't take too much time for the Cyber Ninja Cats, here is one of my renders of Ellie Williams from The Last of Us. To be honest, I fixed the eyes with Photoshop, but other than that, it's mid-journey. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.